Okay. Hi, we're IC Sensors. So basically, our bias sensor, the main component, is a flow cell, which is composed of three layers through which the sample is filtered. The first layer is a fiberglass membrane um, with immobilized detection antibodies bound to streptav streptavidin magnetic particles. The second layer is nitrocellulose with capture antibodies functionalized on it. And the final, final layer is where the unbound excess is collected and a rare earth magnet is basically at the bottom of the flow cell to increase the diffusion of attracting anti nt pro bnp functionalized magnetic microparticles. The sample is added to the fiberglass where nt pro bnp molecules bind to the detection antibodies and pass through the nitrocellulose membrane. And then the capture antibodies bind to the nt pro bnp at an alternate epitope, forming a sandwich assay. This layer is then removed from the flow cell and imaged using a USB microscope. Um, the flow cell right there was designed using CAD and then 3D printed using PLA. It was originally a cube shape, the white one, but then we changed to a conical shape to increase the surface area of the membrane that was in contact with the sample. And the diameter of the narrowest point is 6.5 millimeters. And this contains both the filter and the, the fiberglass and the nitrocellulose membranes. And the size of the final filter doesn't really matter because it's just where the waste is collected. Um, ideally, the images from the USB microscope would be analyzed using image J to infer the concentration of nt pro BNP present in the sample. And first, a Gaussian filter is applied to remove background noise and then uh, it's sharpened by a filter to enhance the shape of the microparticles. Then an automatic threshold is applied based on the intensity level to segment the image and create a binary mask. And with a white background as shown here and the image is the particles in black. And then a watershed separation is able to identify the individual microparticles from the clusters. And after that, an automatic particle detection is applied based on an autocorrelation to function and to obtain the number of spots counted. And the total number of microparticles is estimated from the sample area image and hence obtain the final concentration of nt pro BNP in the sample. Our biosense has progressed from our initial design as we have both encountered problems and come up with practical developments. At first, we were going to use gold nanoparticles as the, as the detection antibody labels, but decided against this because the particles were too small to be detected by the USB microscope. Its maximum level of mag magnification is times 300. The magnetic microparticles are a key factor in the speed of the device. The rate of dif diffusion of the sample through the layers was a limiting factor, but the magnetic attraction between the rare earth magnet and streptavidin magnetic microparticles increases the rate of diffusion and thus the, de the delivery of results. Originally, we were going to add the antibody magnetic particle complex to the plasma sample, then add this mixture directly onto the nitrocellulose layer. We opted to change th this design and immobilize the antibody microparticle complex on a fiberglass layer above the nitrocellulose because it meant the components of the sensor were kept together, increasing the commercialization of our product. One of the key selling points for our biosensor is that there is no need for a wash to be carried out, which is very common in immunoassays. Our biosensor would be, so, would be sold with disposable filters, which are easy to insert into the grooves and replace after each use. The filters could be commercialized, thus available to order and slot into the grooves of the flow cell. Thank you for listening. So, thank you. Are there any questions from the public? Yeah, you have a question? Okay. How many particles do you need in the beginning, or what do you start with? Mix with your target. Like, the, how many magnetic particles do you need to start with to mix with your target? Like, so we. So basically, we bind the magnetic beads to the antibodies, and it's at the concentration of one microgram per microliter. 
so in excess. Oh, so we have them in excess, so then the ones that don't bind, they just pass through. Any more questions? Okay, thank you. Okay, in a few minutes, Sensible will do their technical pitch on this stage.